Who are you? Episode 4 Hi, morning, Major. We have a new case. Did you hear about it? I did, I did. There is one more thing. Stepanik won't come in today. He wanted to talk to you yesterday, but you were busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did something happen? He has problems. At home. He promised to sort them out as fast as possible. But if something goes wrong, he'll take two days off. Is his ex-wife acting up? Something like that. Listen, Oleg, he really has an emergency. Serioga, let's talk later. Yeah. When you will be able to. I'll pick you up, sure. You're a smart girl, just be patient for now. Fine, I'll call you when I'll leave. No, it's too late for me. I'd like to speed it up. Fine. Coffee on me then, Spider. Okay. Pavlik. He's very clever. I called my mom. Modia is tiring her out. She turned out to be a hyperactive beast. I have to take her back home. Motia, Matilda, a Yorkshire Terrier, remember? I gave her to my mom for a few days. So, what did you call Pavlik for? I asked him to find some info on one of the people involved in our case. You told me yourself that he was our consultant, freelance. Great, get me up to speed, preferably with details. Yes. Zakharchik's autopsy report is ready. Hello, Dasha. How is our present doing? What kind of manners are those? Dasha, don't sulk. Do you have aspirin? I have a terrible headache. I don't. Hi, Dasha. What do we have here? Well, traumas of the face and temple are in travital, inflicted not long before death. However, the cause of death is suffocation. What do you mean suffocation? What about the hit to the temple on the desk corner? The wound to the temple is serious. It could cause death. However, we found smoke in Zakharkuk's lungs. It means... It means that Zakharkuk was still alive when the fire started. I'm sorry. Go on. A blow to the face. Judging from the force, it was inflicted either by an average male or a sporty female. Not very tall, though. Well, this is it. His chemistry's clean. Neither alcohol nor drugs. No stranger DNA was found. What else? He didn't give birth. The report is ready. Here you go. You found everything out so fast, Spider. Amazing. Well, I worked extra hard for you, Inga. I already chose a coffee shop where we'll get coffee. I'm sure that coffee shop is great. So, you were telling me that. Yes, the explosion. It all came together. The gas in 92. The parents at the spot, and the daughter got lucky she was at school. The son was seriously hurt, though. He spent a month in the burn center. I got it. You helped me a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. When shall we meet by the entrance? I don't know when I am free yet. Let's talk at six on the phone and decide, okay? Yes, great. See you, then. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Sasho, what kind of sport are you into? Martial arts, taekwondo, aikido. Close. Karate. Karate? Since I was a kid. How did you know? At the academy, we had a martial art instructor who taught us to identify professional fighters. You have nuances, reactions, flexibility. You know it yourself, right? 
It's none of my business. But if I were you, I tell the higher UPS that you know Shells & Co. as soon as possible. How did you find out? Fine. Major was out yesterday. I plan to tell him today. I just don't know how. Let me tell him. Deal. And yet, how did you find out? I'm a shrink after all. Although, your colleague Captain Spock believes that these are nothing more than Broad's fantasies. Have a nice day. Likewise. And the circle of suspects is very small, I'm telling you. So, I am saying that Shmadov certainly has an alibi. His sister said that at 1650, he gave her a pill on schedule. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? What's interesting? That the girl remembered the exact time. Usually, patients like her take strong drugs that affect their consciousness. Their heads are a mess, roughly speaking. Still, Shmadov has an alibi, even if it's flimsy. And Shells and & Co. has nothing. Therefore, I think that we should press on Shells & Co. Because, it's purely a broads thing. A boyfriend freshly caught cheating. She could get into Zach Harkic's face and get him good and private. She does karate. It's easy to check. Why waste time, then? Ask Senior Lieutenant Taran. Why should we ask Senior Lieutenant about Shells & Co.? Because Senior Lieutenant has known Shells & Co. for a long time. It's obvious. Doesn't Taran's personal file show that he did karate? It does. But it doesn't mention that he knows Shells & Co. well. Let it be my, Rod's thing, therefore. I wouldn't recommend sending Taran to interrogate Shells & Co. I think that Captain Spack will be more objective with her. And Taran can interrogate Shmadov. Any more instructions, ma'am? Excuse me, Major, sir, but I insist that Taran should interrogate Shmadov. I want to check a theory. I'll explain. So the traffic jam had dissolved by four, right? It wasn't too bad. It means there was a chance to get there in half an hour. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Were you talking with the traffic police? Yup. And what do they say about Shelsenko's alibi? They say there was a traffic jam, but only until four. So, miss, Shelsenko doesn't have an alibi anymore? It means that she could be at the warehouse by 1630, with all the following consequences. Yes, Captain, sir. Listen, Lieutenant, you're a karate black belt, isn't it? Can you tell me whether a small woman, but a good karate fighter, can knock out a big guy? Are you talking about Chills and Co.? Does she do karate? Is she any good? Aluna has been into karate since five. We went to same martial arts school. Yeah, and she can, as you said, knock out a big guy. We were taught to control and calculate the force of the punch. Any more questions, sir? Lieutenant, it's not your first case. Why didn't you tell us right away? You knew that it will come out. Major was out yesterday, and I didn't have time to do it today. Did you see the coroner's report? I did. An average male or a sporty female? Captain, sir, I assure you that my acquaintance with Aliona won't stop me from working the case. Come in, please. Thank you. Hi, Senya. How are you feeling? Fine. For me? Did you come here regarding Suryaza? Did something happen? Nothing happened. I just want to talk. Does it hurt a lot? Quite. Senya, I checked when you were admitted here. You were prescribed morphine in quite large doses. Doesn't it help? The nurses say that patients usually fall asleep right away on such doses. I fall asleep too, sometimes, but I wake up easily. 
Were you sleeping sleep yesterday too? This is why you came. You want to know if I could sleep through the time when Suryaza was killing Andri? No, I wasn't sleeping. I looked at the clock. It was 16.50. It meant that I was five minutes late for taking the medicine. Well, your alibi hasn't been confirmed. Therefore, I advise you not to exacerbate your situation. Well, so where were you yesterday from half past four to five? I went home to pick up the documents. I just didn't come back right away. I had to. I was on my way when Shmadov called me. I got out of the bus and got in a cab. And you were at home alone, weren't you? Is everything all right? Yup. What address did you call the taxi to? What taxi service was it? It wasn't a taxi. I stopped a car to get there faster. What car brand was it? I have no idea. I have never owned a car myself. It was an old car, gray or off-white. Could it have been beige or off-blue? Are you mocking me? No. But you seem to be mocking us. I don't know. I don't remember. I have no idea. Let's make a deal. You don't need to waste either ours or your time. We will check the road cameras and see when you got into the car. And now you will tell me how it was. Okay. Captain's right. That girl has a short temper. She is capable of a spontaneous murder. Is that it? No. She got angry and hit him hard. Zakharkik fell. He lost conscience. She saw blood, thought that he died and got scared. The arson was an impromptu attempt to destroy the evidence. She could get mad and hit him. I can agree with that. Her temper enables that. But the rest doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? She could kill in a state of affection. Or carelessly, yeah. But she's not cold-blooded enough to set a warm body of a close person on fire. No, Shelzen Co. absolutely doesn't fit the role. Here's the forensic report. Oh, thank you. Was there anything interesting? Did you check it? I did. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Captain needs to take a break, get acquainted, and then we'll continue. Good afternoon, Lieutenant. I thought you completely forgot about me. Do you have something interesting? Good afternoon, Major, sir. No, we didn't. So far there was nothing to report on. I'm calling to get you up to speed. There has been nothing going on there since yesterday's night, right? Yes, sir. We have been driving around here for an hour. We've seen nobody and nothing. Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. We'll keep an eye on it. Thanks. I'll be waiting for the news. Where the hell are you, Madame Yakovlova? I'm even somewhat worried for you. Inga, just a minute. So, what's your opinion? You saw the suspects right after the murder, then after a day. What do you think? I think that Shmadov and Shulzenko are either hiding something or protecting somebody. In any case, I'm sure that one of those two is a murderer. Is it your intuition again? Yes. Well, one of them is definitely a murderer. I won't do that. It's unethical, from the point of, from any point of view. I know how it looks, Sasha, but we need to figure it out. Think of it as an investigative experiment. I can say it once more. I won't cry for Zakhar, he was an asshole, but I didn't kill him. Why are you calling him an asshole? As far as I know, he was acting according to the fund statute, nothing personal. This is exactly what he said, nothing personal. I can see that your principle too, right? I don't consider it a flaw, go on. When Zenya got sick for the first time, the fund paid both for her therapy and her surgery. For four years, everything was fine. I even began to calm down, and then bang, an inoperable tumor. 
Do you understand what that means? If the treatment isn't started immediately, she will live six months at the most, six months, and she's only 15. But Zakhar... Senya is just one year older than the children that the fund helps, right? Zakharka could make an exception for her. Besides, you're their volunteer. That's right. This is exactly what we told him. You were friends. Did you listen to Shkirbakova? Alina is a great person, and Zakhar couldn't shine her shoes. She should have left him long ago. Shmato! I can see that you fell for Scholz and Co. Big time! It's none of your business. But why? Look how everything fell into place. She doesn't have to leave anybody. And you got a jackpot. What do you mean? I mean that. Your rival, who was an asshole, is toast. Literally. You can ask Shells and Co. out tonight. With all the perks. Or did you already take her? <laughs> Are you happy? We'll continue, right? Yep, thanks. What was that? An investigative experiment. Oh, yeah. Well, I listened to you and sent the lieutenant to Shmedov. You promised to explain everything to me. You have a minute. If you can't explain it, then you won't work in my department anymore. Shmedov's sister told us that Sergi was seriously hurt in the explosion that killed their parents. I checked it out. Shmedov was discharged from the burn center with the diagnosis of incomplete fibrous ankyloses of the shoulder joint. In other words, the tissues got scarred so bad that the mobility of his shoulder is limited. It means he couldn't deliver the blow needed. He didn't have the strength. In any case, whoever hit Zakhark couldn't have a problem with the swing. Yes. Hello, Oleg? Just a minute. I know that you're very busy, but I have a problem with your dog. No, it's okay. But you know that it can't be left alone. It gets nervous. Lieutenant Taran is almost the same height as Zakhark, so I asked him to provoke Shmedov to evaluate whether he could have been our culprit. As you saw, he couldn't. Yeah, I need to go out tonight. Can you pick it up? Somewhere around 7. Will you come? Yeah, great. That's it. Son, I won't bother you anymore. Okay, bye. Thanks for the speed. I'm on my way. I have an urgent case. Go on without me. You will have to repeat that to me later. I got distracted. Is this a tactic? Make witnesses wait for hours. Not the witnesses, but it does happen with suspects. Aliona, can you please show me your warehouse key? I don't know where it is. I haven't been able to find it for a couple of days. Weird. Your volunteer colleagues say that it was it was with you when you went to the warehouse. Yesterday? Yesterday, I took Andri's key. Well, everything was resolved, Sergi. Thanks a lot. You can go. What do you mean? Resolved? Did you find the murder? Exactly. Right now, my colleague is filing the charges against Aliona Schulz and Co. Why against Aliona? Because all the evidence is against her. First, the motive. Second, the opportunity. Third, the lack of alibi. She even managed to leave the warehouse keys in the lock. Can you imagine? The most amazing thing is that there are only your fingerprints on it. Miss Shelzenko, do you realize that I can charge you of murder? How can a girl be so cruel? Lock up a living person and leave him there to burn alive. The horror. 
Was he alive? Yes, the expertise determined that he was alive. When the fire started, he must have been unconscious. He suffocated. Alyona, you're a lawyer. You must understand that there is a motive, a heap of evidence and no alibi. There are only your fingerprints on the key that was used to lock up Sakhark in the storehouse. As a lawyer, I know that you have nothing to incriminate me. The key is circumstantial evidence. Anybody could have stolen it and place it while wearing gloves. How long did it take him to die? Approximately half an hour. A terrible death. A terrible girl. A terrible situation. Stop it. Stop your manipulations. Alion is not guilty. I did it all. What? I set the warehouse on fire. I came to Zania. She was asleep. I sat there and looked out the window. I saw Zakarkik entering the warehouse. A couple of minutes later, Alyona followed. Then she ran out like a scalded cat. I thought that they had a fight, as usual. But Zakarkik wasn't coming out for a long time. I went to check on him. I came in, and he was lying on the floor there. In a puddle of blood. I checked the pulse. Then I thought that. You, you thought that Alyona hid him hard, too strong. She often said that she wanted to punch him, right? I thought that it would be unfair for Alyona to go to jail because of that pig. So I set some bail on fire. It went up right away and... I got it. Then you came back to Zinya, moved the clock 10 minutes forward and woke her up saying that it was time to take her pills, right? Quite cold, Sergi. What else could I do? I would go to prison instead of Alyona if not for Zinya. I really didn't know that he was alive. Allow me to see my sister, and then I'll write an admission of guilt. Let me see my sister. She only has a couple of months left. Hello, this is Senior Lieutenant Taran. Shmedov and I went to the hospice. We'll come back in an hour. If somebody asks for me, say that I went crazy. Copy. However, even in this case, I may charge you of murder. Alyona, there is no reason for you to protect Shmedov. He confessed to everything himself. Shmedov saw that you followed Zakhark into the warehouse and then got out of there instantly. Then he came in, saw Zakharkik in a pool of blood and supposed that you had a fight again, but you finally hid him this time. Well, hid him too hard. Shmedov couldn't feel Andrei's pulse. Therefore, he drew a logical conclusion that you killed him, not intentionally, of course. Then he realized that he had to protect you somehow. Sergi decided to protect. Me? Yes. First thing he decided to do was to set the warehouse on fire, just in case, to hide the evidence that you surely left there. Then, set one of the bales on fire and locked up the door to be sure, with the key that you left in the lock, by the way. However, Shmedov was sure that the key belonged to Zakarchek. So, Sergi killed Endry. Killed him because he thought that I already killed him. Yes. Sergi was sure that he's setting a corpse on fire. When I came home, I realized I didn't have the full set of documents. I realized that I left it at the warehouse. What did you come back for? Some documents. You wouldn't scatter them around if you thought about the work more. By the way, you weren't like that before. You weren't like this before too. Don't start it, okay? 
You don't care where I am and who I am with. Recently, Shmedov was the only one you cared about. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent. I figured everything out long ago. I'm not a fool. What did you figure out? Why do you care for Shmedov's sister so much? You show care and warmth. Are you earning points with your new boyfriend? Don't try too much. Shmedov is such a fool. Just snap your fingers and he'll never leave you. Are you an idiot? That girl is 15. Don't try that on me, okay? Train on Sergi so that you could console him in a moment of need. What are you doing? You could have killed me. You deserve it. So, did he didn't his temple against the table while you were there? No. Well, I got angry and hit him, but it was a reaction. That's weird. Shmedov told us that he found him unconscious with a split head. I didn't do that. I left him conscious and with his head intact. He was a bit shocked, of course. Like after a knockdown. Looks like he tried to stand up on his own, grabbed the table, fell, hit his temple and fainted. Right? Miss Shelzenko, couldn't you tell us that right from the start? Why waste both yours and our time? We could have saved the effort. Captain Spock, are you in a hurry? Sorry. You were afraid to say too much to keep him out of trouble, did you? Why were you so sure that he was the murderer? You must have thought that he got desperate and solved the problem dramatically. Where is he now? He's in the hospice, bidding farewell to his sister. So, how are you? Fine. I'm sitting here and waiting. Don't worry, Sasha. Everything will be fine. You've made a right decision. I hope so. We'll find out soon whether it was right one or not. Kid, wake up! Hi! Suryaza, you came back. It means everything's all right. Because I got so scared when that lady from the police came. I thought that she wanted to say something bad, but she changed her mind. Suryaza. Suryaza. Look at me. It means that everything's wrong. If you tell me that you killed him, I won't believe you anyway. It was an accident. She's good, that profiler. She realized that I was lying right away. I sleep badly under morphine. I heard you going out and coming back yesterday. I even saw you changing the time. I just didn't understand why then. And you didn't tell anything? You didn't tell anything even to me? Why? I don't have anybody except you. You're not the only that needs to care about me. Fine. Don't worry, okay?
It will be easier for me. Yes. Don't worry yourself. Aliona will look after me, Aliona. Is she okay? Yes, she's okay. Do you love her? Yeah? You do. I do. But you see how it turned out. Quit whining. You have good chances. I'm serious. I read a book about female types. Aliona is a type that needs to care for somebody or to protect someone. So you're in, bro. Is it time? They only gave me time to bid you farewell. Yeah, okay, okay. Bye. You'll be fine. Got it? You're the best brother in the world. I'm sorry for what had happened. For leaving you alone. Farewell. Suryaza. Yes. I love you very much. I love you too, kid. Suryaza, you're such a bastard. You promised to never leave me alone. You promised. Let's go, Lieutenant. Thank you, Lieutenant. Aliona won't leave her. I know. Suryaza, hi. Hello. You shouldn't have done it. For me? Well, it's done. Senya will be included in the HELP program. She's gonna get treatment. Do you hear me? Thank you. Well, today is an amazing day, Sasha. Will you file a report? Regarding what? You worked the suspect. He came to trust you and gave a full confession. The only thing you have to do is to file the admission of guilt. <coughs> well, are you ready, Mr. Shmadov? 
I am. See you later, Suryaza. I'll definitely come by when they let me. With good news. Can we talk? Thanks a lot, Sasha. It's nothing. You were right. It's time to grow up. Listen, I'm sorry for the past. I didn't even give you a chance to explain yourself then. Yes, you didn't leave me a single chance. Well, Alyona, good luck with your work. And with Shmato. Good luck to you too. With work and everything. You're a good man. Bye. Good evening, Inga. So, is our deal still in effect? Yes, of course. A deal is a deal. Let's meet by the entrance then. When can I expect you? Give me 10 minutes. Amazing. Okay, see you then. Date. No. Just coffee with a friend. Inga. Do you remember Galina Yakovleva? I do. I remember the death of her fiancé that was my patient, and I remember the attack on Golia. Apparently she has been dreaming to get back at you for a year, and yesterday she almost succeeded. Do you really think that Galia tried to kill me? Isn't it funny for you too? No. Who are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I beg your pardon, Oleg, but I need to go, I don't want to be late. Thanks for caring and have a good evening. Matilda? Hello? <laughs> this is Matilda. I didn't confuse anything, did I? No, miss, you did not. My son stubbornly calls her Modia though. I believe it lowers the social status of a purebred animal. What do you think? I totally agree with you, Matilda. You're so nice. Mom. Oh, hi. Hi. What are you doing here? I told you I'd come by. You did, but I risked coming here and making an ambush. Oleg, where are your manners? Will you introduce us? Inga Stefan, our criminal psychologist and consultant. Lydmila, my mom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, criminal psychologist. Profiler, yeah. Yes, I watch crime dramas. Have you just started working with Oleg? Yes. What do you think? He has a bad temper, for sure. Mom, stop discussing me. Come on. Fine, fine, I won't. Inga, hello. Hi. Herr Major, Madame. Well, shall we? Yes, but I have a small technical problem. A skirt. No problem, miss. Let's either go on foot or sit like ladies do. Fine, I'll risk it. Hop on. Thank you. Herr Major. What an interesting girl, huh? Yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. Very interesting.
attack on Galani Yakovova. Yes. I'm glad you're all right, princess. This time, our gallant major did everything in time. Who are you? But I did well too. I finished the job. Of course, I could have done it a year ago. But I'll be sincere, I wanted to impress you once more. What did you do? Let's not spoil the surprise. You'll find everything out tomorrow. Good night, princess. Wait, wait. Do you remember saying last time that for me to become famous? I had to drive that bohemian scum away from you. You're a different bird, ain't I? <laughs>